Hey guys, today we'll be checking out four new apps. First app is called Google Map G Maps Pro, which is a Google Maps application for Windows Phone. And there is a free version and a paid version. We'll be taking a look at the trial for the paid version. So as you can see, you've got your compass, and you can calibrate that by using the motion, the figure eight motion, or you can disable it if you don't want that. And you've got the option to track your uh, travel as well. So that is something you can disable if you don't want that as well. And you've got various views that are available. Sorry, so jumping into the views, which is here. You get different views. So if you've got your hybrid, physical street, satellite, and water overlay. So if you go hybrid, you will see that you will get the hybrid view with the map. The satellite view plus the street names and then you've got multiple options in here which is the traffic so it'll show you if there's traffic condition in some particular area and what the traffic is like in the other places you've got the transport overlay the weather layer and you can take a screenshot of the particular image that you're looking at and that will get saved to your uh, picture hub. So as usual you can zoom in using by using the zoom gestures or you can use a button here to zoom in. And the other option is finding a place so you can type in any location. and you will get an option here and once you bring up a location you have multiple options in here so you can choose by car by track or segway I guess and public transport so once you pick that if you click on this button here it'll give you the route so as you can see you've got the route there and yeah, so that is a quick look at what this app offers. And I'm not really sure what the live tiles offer, but like in this case, I'm guessing that is the number of tries that I've tried, and the demo mode you get for uh, seven tries, I believe. Next up, we're going to take a look at Task Arranger, which is a to do list application for Windows Phone. So in this what you get to do is you can add any task and once you put that in you can choose an icon as well so you can go back and edit it whenever you want you got multiple icon options in there and you can choose one that you like and once you do that you've got your task up there what this app allows you to do is you can set priority for this app so if you slide to the right as you can see that increases in size and increases in priority and if you slide to the left it decreases in size and the priority decreases as well and then you've got the option to order by priority so you'll see that it's ordered by priority and your done task you can check that as well you got the option to restore any task so that'll come back in here so if you complete any task you can click on that and check back in done task and that'll show up there so unfortunately this doesn't integrate with the uh, OS so you can launch the app and track the apps that way doesn't have a live tile at least not in the version that I'm trying next up we've got an app called food sporting so this is the official app for food sporting and it'll take your GPS location and pull up uh, the various uh, items that other people have reviewed and marked and it'll show up in here so if you like something you can bring it up so let's bring that one up and then you get some information about what the dish is where it is from and you can go into that particular restaurant's listing 
and check out what are the other options that you have in there. And if you like some particular food, you can pick that, check the location, give them a call, and check out the various reviews that people have posted. And you can also pin a certain item to your live tile. So that'll come up in here. And yeah, so with this particular app, you can also log into your own account. And I don't have an account myself, so I will not be testing that function now. But you do have the option to log in or create a new account if you choose to do so. So essentially, food spotting is an app to find great food in your location. And if you are into that side of things, it's a great app to try out. The last app that we have for today, it's called Dark Time Box, which is kind of like a uh, timer or a countdown timer for Windows Phone and so this is the option that you have you've got some preset option or you can choose one from here unfortunately it only allows you to pick time in five minutes so if you want to set something for 12 minutes if not possible you can have 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes etc but you can't have anything in between so you got the hours option in here and the minutes option in here once you're happy with what you choose click on the tick and then you can set a reminder so you want that to go five minutes before that so you can set that so you see that you total of 10 minutes and you've got a reminder at five and it shows you the time left over here so as you start it'll keep counting it down and once you hit this point you get a reminder can stop it and you've got some preset options that you can define if you go into settings and you can set that for easy use so if you want something that you uh, reuse quite often you can set that in here and then you got various options that you can toggle in here so the sound effects you can set that a yes or no and prevent it from going into the lock screen and allow the app to run under the lock screen Then with styles, you've got multiple options as well, so with the time. So you've got various options in here that you can choose. So it's the full circle, the normal timer, and something that looks like the defragment screen from your PC. So with this particular option, you click on start. You've got this defragment interface kind of thing that goes on in here. So overall, it's a nice app, but the lack of ability to set the time for 12 and 30 minutes and things like that it's kind of frustrating but other than that it's quite nice and it's available for free from the windows for marketplace and that is a quick look at dark time box thanks for watching